if we begin by looking at an example. In their free time, some of the students read popular books on astronomy. Now, before you approach anything, you have to consider that you have to identify the different clausal elements. What do we mean by the clausal elements? By this, we mean um, subject, predicator, object, and the other elements that we have previously discussed. Um, the Tarzan approach, somebody or something does something or somebody is something. You, that's how you need to approach the sentence as a whole. And therefore you can identify the predicator, where the finite verb is, the subject and the object. And subjects, objects, indirect objects and complements, they can all be realized as noun phrases. They can be realized as other things, but most often as noun phrases. So to begin with, we are going to look at the clausal elements here. So the clausal elements that we have here is, well, where's the finite verb? You have to find something which looks like a verb, and you have to identify the subject. And if we take our first division here, then we have all of this is the subject. We use the capital letters for this. And this is the predicate. And in that subject, we have an adverbial. Then we have the subject S, the predicator, red, and all of this is an object, something. So somebody did something. We now break down the subject and we now break down the, the direct object. And how do we break this down? Well, this subject here is a noun phrase, and all of this is also a noun phrase. And in that noun phrase, you can have a determiner, a pre-modifier. You must have a head, and you might have a post-modifier. And in this uh, situation here, well, we have some of the students. If it had said happy students here, then there would have been a pre-modifier, but there isn't none. So students here is the head. Students read something. So the head is students. There's no pre-modifier. There's nothing that tells you more about the students. All of these things, some and of and the, they are all determiners. And although there are three classes, what these determiners do is they introduce the noun phrase. They delimit how many there are, for example. So all of these are determiners. And there's no post-modifier here. If we were to then look at this noun phrase here, we have popular books on astronomy. Is it the students read popular, or is it the students read astronomy, or is it the student read books? So it's the books here, which is the head. And the, now there's a pre-modifier, popular. It tells you something about those books. And it also post-modifies what kind of books. Well, they're books on astronomy. Let's move on. Take an example which is a little bit more complex. Remember to approach this, first of all, you need to look at the clausal elements. And the clausal elements here are, if you think about somebody did something or somebody is something, then you have the finite verb is here. And all of this which precedes is the subject. And something is something. So all of this describes the subject. So this is a, a subject complement, and the, re the remainder is a subject here to begin with. So if we've identified that this is the subject, and this here is the finite verb, then how can we break this down? 
Well, we have, there must be a determinant, there's a word like the here. Now, is it, what is the main word here? Is it the new, again, this was a finite verb, is it the New York is calm, or is it the New York recording is calm, or is it Alicia Keys is calm? Well, here, this refers to the studio. This is the head. And if this is the head, what comes before it? Well, there are three words. And the is a determiner. And the New York studio, it could have been the London studio, or the recording studio, it could have been the production studio. All of these are, both of these words are, are pre-modifiers. And this tells you more about the studio. It's the studio where Alicia Keys is finishing up a new album, not the studio where Sting is finishing his. So this tells you more about this particular studio. So the remainder here, uh, from here to here, all of this is the post modifier. Moving on to another example. And to begin with, you look at the clausal elements again. Somebody is something or somebody does something. Um, we have the finite verb is here. Setting aside his skill at dialogue to show he can do pure action. This comma is a useful indication. Often if you have a comma in what comes before the predicator, then it's usually an adverbial, and that's what all of this is. This here is an adverbial, and then you have the subject beginning here. So, and then we have what follows here is, uh, because it's is, then you have, it's a subject complement. So, this is breaking it down then. And we have kill bill, which is, so is it, if we have this here, what is a challenge to Tarantino's ego? It's kill bill, the name of this film. So kill bill is the head. There's nothing before it, therefore there are no determiners of pre-modifiers. And all of this which follows here is a post-modifier. If we look at the subject complement now, a challenge to Tarantino's ego. It's so kill bill. Remember this was the the finite verb. Kill bill is something. So is kill bill a Tarantino's ego? It's is it a ego or is it a challenge? This here is the head. This here is a post modifier and a uh, is a determiner. Moving on to another example, staying with Kill Bill for a while. We again look at the clausal elements to begin with. And in this, filmed in Beijing, this seems to tell you about where, and it tells you where, and a bit more information as well. All of this here is an adverbial. And all of this here is the subject, gives is the predicator, and cinema audiences superb fight scenes. Then you have superb fight scenes is the direct object, and cinema audiences is the indirect object. If we now look at the subject in detail to analyze the noun phrase, then <coughs> using this again, Kill Bill. Kill Bill gives cinema audiences something. So Kill Bill is the head. And which is Tarantino's fourth film as a director tells you more about Kill Bill. It post modifies. It post modifies because it becomes because it comes after the head. If we now look at the 
objects and the two objects. The now this was the indirect object and this was the direct object. We have two words there, cinema audiences. So if we identify the head, Kill Bill gives is it cinema or is it Kill Bill gives audiences? And audiences is the head word. So you have here the head word, the head of the noun phrase is audiences, and cinema is a pre modifier. Meanwhile, for superb fight scenes, it's Kill Bill gives audiences superb or fight or scenes. It's scenes which is the head. And we have two pre modifiers there. Another example here. You can see the different, uh, well, this is a sentence. You have to look at the clausal elements to begin with. And you have have been largely ignored by. Now, there are some clues here because you have the form of be here, and you have a past participle here, and you have the by here. So, this is a, a passive sentence. This is the adverbial of agency. And then we have have been ignored. This is the predicator here, up until there. And you have all of this here is the subject. So this is a subject here. And in that subject, it's new South African writers such as Damon Galgit. So is it Damon Galgit that has been ignored, or is it new South African writers who have been ignored? And is it new African, or is it new writers who have been ignored? Writers is the head. If this is the head, and all of this is a subject, you have words beforehand, then you have three words here. And they are all pre-modifiers. And writers, it exemplifies writers, such as Damon Galgut. And who, this gives you more information about Damon Galgut. But all of what follows is the post-modifier. Looking at the um, clausal elements, you then can see that it's the growing popular support some terrorists enjoy has created, this is the predicate, has created something. This is a direct object, and what remains here in the beginning is a subject. So if we look at the subject here, the growing popular support. Something has created discontent. Is it the terrorists or the growing? No, it's the support, which is the head. So this is your head. The is the determiner. And the growing and popular, these are both pre-modifiers. Pre and what kind of support? The kind of support which some terrorists enjoy. This is your post-modifier. If we now look at an example exam question, <coughs> although it was a quite a heavy <coughs> sentence, looking at it, you need to look at it systematically. So if we look at in a Tarzan manner, somebody did something or somebody is something. And as you read this through, you can see some guidelines. There's a comma there. What does that comma distinguish? Well, that distinguishes that all of this, of what you have here, is an adverbial. Here. This is an adverbial. And a select group of Saudi men and women sipped is the predicator. And orange juice is the direct object. And this tells you when as they listen to a lecture. So everything from here onwards is the adverbial. The adverbial. 
and the subject is here a gathering of Saudi men and women that's your subject so we've just discovered the clausal elements and this was the subject what now is well what is what you have is it well what is the head and the head is a clue here is a uh, which word does the uh go with and it's a gathering this is the head it's a gathering sipped orange juice what kind of gathering a select one pre-modifier something more about the gathering well there were Saudi men and women that's a post modifier and you have the determiner one final exam question again a rather long sentence but you can discover that the subject is all the way to corrupt so somebody looked exhausted when after a weekend so all of this here is a somebody it could have just been the former Soviet minister looked exhausted but instead there's a whole load of more information and here you have the determiner and the former Soviet foreign minister the minister is the head and the former Soviet foreign is the pre-modifier and the rest is a post-modifier now we've looked at one of the more complex aspects of um, grammar and that is the noun phrase as you can see it can be one word or many words and the important part of this is when you can identify the head then you can you then know what uh, f the form of the finite verb here then you can make sure that the head agrees with the finite verb so you don't get the subject verb agreement error that's the end of this recording Music